Hey guys, welcome to Don't Be Serious. Today we talk about Blacklist Wukong. Blacklist Wukong, it is said that there are over a hundred characters in the game. Enemies, big bosses, friendly NPCs. This is part one of all characters of Blacklist Wukong series. And in this video, I'll be counting down with 1 to 20 characters. The old monkey, Lo Hao Zi. First one, the unidentified old monkey. The very first character to appear in the first trailer, whose appearance marked the beginning of the world anticipated game. Though is believed to be the NPC in the plot, and his identity is yet to be confirmed. Sun Wukong, who has become a Buddha, is the biggest call. The last scene of the latest Wii game trailer showed that the old monkey picked up the Tham Ku Zhao. An iconic item bound to the Monkey King. He holds it and looks at it as if a long lost treasure finally back to his hand. Next frame, the gold dust was blown to the air and immediately formed the title Wukong, also implying that the old monkey is Sun Wukong himself. The Wolf Wise, Long Yu Sao Wei. Wolf Guards, Wolf Protectors, Wolf Archers, and other Yu Guys in Black Wind Mountain, in addition to Dou Long and Leng Hui Zi. There are six kinds of Wolf Guides. Black Rope with his sword, White Rope with his sword, Small Axe and Buckler, Big Wolf with Halber, Yellow Rope with a large axe, and Wolf Demon Archers. Band the Leader, San Fei Tao Zi. And the Leader, able to see through the transformation of the Destined One, Captain Blade. He was defeated by the player using static technique, and Generally not a tough enemy. Rossov Wolf Coach Dou Long Gao Tao. The Wolf Coach is actually a Rizou Yu Guai, who has already become a popular character since the simulation video. His form is also one of the confirmed transformation. The music while transforming is a variation of the main narrative, indicating that Coach Dou Long may be a very important transformation throughout the game. How about the Guai's Yu Guai Kick Bang? Only a glimpse of this enemy in the trailer. White skin and white outfit. Two hilarious pointy horns are noticeable on his old head. Can't tell which kind of animal he is for now. He's leading two ghost guards behind. Might be a middle rank leader of the local territory. Ghost God Gui Si Wei. Little Yu Zings who came to the Black Wind Mountain from Buddha Terror for backup. The armor on his body and left arm indicates a well organized better equipped division which is different from that of the wolves. Contrasting, the defenseless wolf Yu Zheng. No wonder they need backups from another place. Just wondering how exactly this blind creature shoots his arrow. Long as Guai, Chang Fu Tao Guai. Look at the Guai's closely. You can see those two green bull Guai's with long axes have entered a group of wolf Guai. <laughs> I see enjoy Nan Hon Hei. Spectre, Elder Golden Pool, or Nan Hon Hei, means I see enjoy. Look carefully, you can see his eyes keep shut all the time, using his ears to sense the surroundings. The official picture reveals his pair of big eyes. The strength and toughness of this big fella are incredibly high and has a gold plated for Elder Golden Pool, which makes the fight even more difficult. Optional boss. You can either go or fight him. What's interesting is, I find him somehow resembled a big potato, Dai Fan Shu, from the comic Old Master Q. What do you think? Black Wind Mountain, Land Elf, Hafeng San Tou Dei. The Land Elf of Black Wind Mountain, a friendly NPC who secretly tips the Destined One for better survival or detours to avoid fighting. By the look of his rooty chin, he is a Jensen Zeng of thousands of years old. From his dialogue, we can tell that he had been through the journey to the West era and has definitely met Sun Wukong long ago. Giant Ape, Ge Yun. The Ape transformation carried by the Destined One may be an elite boss defeating the previous Flower Fruit Mountain level. If it's true, maybe this ape is the Tongbei Yun Hao, one of the four great ethereal monkeys just like Sun Wukong. Li Xu Zi. Ling Hui Zi. 
an extremely impressive boss battle that make Blood with Wukong con rival. In a trailer, the Dustin One transformed into Tolong Gao Tao to defeat it, but it was much more difficult to fight it in pure monkey form. The official has a werewolf Dowson form. Don't know if there is a second stage. A split of plants of this guy in the trailer. Many people mistaken him as Sa Zheng, the Sand Monk. But he is, in fact, the fat Toto. Toto comes from Sanskrit and is the transliteration of Sanskrit, Duda. It means to refresh, which means to get rid of dirt and troubles. The first specifically to monks who are begging for food. That explains the resembling features of him and the Sand Monk. Lisa Monster, say it why. The lizard head monster fight was in the temple with the statue of the yellow winged king, meaning that Sin is in the Wang Feng Rich level, and its weapon spills venom. It's possible that this Liu Guai could be the elite unit of the snake boldness in the Jiwan Mountain level. Hundred Lead Bug, Bug Chuk Chong. The Hundred Lead Bug is a novice tutorial level difficulty, yet during the trial, he still got a lot of players into big trouble at first sight. Some are huge and some are relatively smaller. These bugs have different sizes in the game. Heavenly Soldiers, Tin Bing. There are two kinds of Heavenly Soldiers in the first version Wolf Head and Tiger Head. Heavenly General, Tin Zhang. The giant deity who calls down a streak of lightning is a Heavenly General. He holds a big sword and an exaggerated thick shield. By the way, the tower behind him is modeled from an actual tower. The Twin Towers of Kaiyuan Temple located in Zhengzhou City, China. The Twin Towers along with the temple are now a world cultural heritage, as well as a famous tourist attraction. Every temple tower in this game is an actual place in reality. Four mighty heavenly kings, Sei Dai Tin Wang. The four mighty heavenly kings, one of the most memorable shots of the first trailer. I'm extremely excited for this, my most favorable scene. From left to right are Na Bong Zhang Zhang Tin Wang, the Wisdom Grove Heavenly King of the Southern, Tai Fong Guang Mok Tin Wang, Blue Eye Heavenly King of the Western, Buck Fong Dorman Tin Wang, the Knowledge Bog Heavenly King of the Northern, and Dong Fong Zi Kok Tin Wang, the Country Maintaining Heavenly King of the Eastern. The giant form of the four kings implies that the high ranking technique. Martin Zhang Day. Dharma, Heaven and Earth could be achieved in the game, which is a trump card of Sun Wukong. How do we as a small monkey fight giants? The answer is becoming a giant. All trailers did not show us the giant form of the monkey, but we already knew that in Journey to the West, Gigantic King is the ace technique. A digression, Martin Zhang Day is a philosophical term originating from an ancient Chinese philosophy, primarily emphasizing the relationship between humans and nature. Its meaning lies in guiding human behavior and thinking through the observation and understanding of natural phenomena and laws. Specifically, it encompasses the following aspects. 1. Observing astronomical phenomena. Martin Zhang Dei advocates understanding the universe's laws and order by observing the movements and changes of celestial bodies such as stars, moons, and suns in the sky. This observation aids in better understanding natural phenomena like time, seasons, and climate, and their impacts on human life. Emulating terrestrial phenomena. Apart from observing celestial phenomena, Martin Zhang Day also encourages people to emulate the phenomena and laws of nature. This involves learning from ecosystems, animal behaviors, adaptations, as well as the balance and harmony in nature. By emulating terrestrial phenomena, individuals can gain insights into survival, development, and living harmoniously with the environment. 3. Conforming to the way of nature The core idea of Fa Qin Zhang Dei is conforming to what Chinese people call Tin Dou, the way of nature. 
which means following the laws and order of nature. It implies respecting nature, preserving the environment, and avoiding excessive intervention or disruption of natural balance. Sustainability and harmonious coexistence with nature should be considered in human activities. 4. Personal Cultivation Martin Zhangli also involves personal cultivation and inner growth. It emphasizes achieving resonance and integration with nature through inner tranquility and reflection. Individuals should cultivate their virtues and moral principles to align with the laws of nature. In summary, Fatin Zhang Day is a philosophical concept that applies natural phenomena laws to human life and thinking. It reminds people to maintain a close connection with nature and draw wisdom and guidance from it. Through practicing Fatin Zhang Day, Individuals can better adapt to nature, achieve personal growth, and promote harmonious coexistence between humans and nature. The author of Journey to the West, Wu Chengen, incorporated the philosophical term Hua Tin Zheng Dei into his novel, an advanced transformation technique mastered only by the top of the top characters, such as Sun Wukong and Ji Long San. This reflects the author's affirmation of ancient Chinese philosophical thoughts. It is a tribute to and love for the wisdom of the Asians. This is part one of the Black Myth Wukong character series. Knowing the characters in game before playing helps you understand the story and have a better comprehension of the game's background and logic. Also leads you to the magnificence of the massive journey to West World. This is the end of part one of all characters of Black Myth Wukong. If you want to know more detailed information of Black Myth Wukong characters, stay tuned and don't be serious. I'll see you in part 2. Thank you for watching to the end. If you like it, please also check out my special shop, Don't Be Serious Myth Gallery, dogmyspecialshop.com, where you can find all kinds of Sun Wukong t-shirts, coffee mugs, and many other interesting content.